Another Kansas rapper, uh, Heavy. He They just did a song together. Should be dropping pretty soon in the video. Strong Kansas repping. Uh, but he's got a couple songs. He's got um, one out pretty recent, um, In My Shoes. And, uh, man, just really great song. Um, everything about it I love. Now, he came so maybe, man, last two summers ago. Not this, not, not this year, but maybe last year. Came to my house, and it was one of the first times, first couple times we met and interacted. And we're sitting on the back porch, and and I asked him, um, I said, man, uh, because out here where I live, it's predominantly Hispanic. And he kind of had a Hispanic look, but he looked more black. But you could see, you know, he was, he was lighter skinned. So I'm like, is he Hispanic? Is he black Hispanic? Is he white Hispanic, white, black Hispanic. So I was just like, you know, what's, and I'm big into culture and languages and all. I love it. Very interested in people. So I'm like, Hey man, what's your ethnicity? Like, what's your background? And he says, man, I've been lied to so much. I don't know. And what? that like hit, hit me deep. Right. Especially as a dad, right. A father. I'm like, Ooh, this is powerful. And so we're conversating about a bunch of stuff and I can't get away from that comment. And so I keep taking him back to it. And, and he's like, look, I, I was, uh, in the foster system. Then I got adopted. Um, and, but I really don't know the whole back story to my family and all that stuff. I said, okay, now I get it. So we still were talking about some more and I'm listening to his music. I've been watching his videos and we've been interacting. So then I, and it's the same thing. He, you know, um, he does a lot of the main street hip hop topics. So I just challenged him. I said, hey, I got a challenge for you, man. I said, why don't you do a song about adoption? I I know some people in the adoption world. I did social work and and orphanages and all that stuff. I said, I, might, I think it's something I could market. Um, why don't you do something on that? Just just put it together and let's see what we can do. And and I've got a couple big plans still about it that we haven't done yet. Still working on it. But this this was a, a while ago. So he dropped it for World Adoption Day last uh, whenever that is October or November last year. So not quite a year ago, but when he sent it over to me, Brady, I, I was expecting like this, uh, happy song. I got adopted, you know, God's good. You know, it, 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 yeah. uh, it was dark, um, about wow. the hell he went through, through the foster system. And he called out names and he told real stories about wow. what people put him through as a kid and how, it, it PTSD'd him and he had to go to therapy. Now it ended on a high note. Thank, thank God, you know, that my parents adopted me and invested in me and, and helped me get through this. But man, it so moved me. And, and I listened to it over and over and over to the point I told my wife on one of our nightly walks, I said, listen, man, I've been listening to this song. I think we're going to have to foster a kid. I mean, because if I can save one kid, from the hell that Tori went through. I mean, listening to this song so moved me. It was so powerful. So he turned around and posted it. We, we posted it in different places on Reddit in some foster parent forums, some foster kid forums. And it got all kinds of people responding to it. Um, and this mom, I mean, this is one of the things building your thousand true. This, this isn't about marketing, but this is about building real connections. Then this mom reaches out to him. And says, I lost my kid because bad decisions. My kid's in a foster thing. We still sneak and, and FaceTime. My kid's talking about um, suicide. But you've been through this hell and you survived. And I think if you talk to my kid and he listens to your song, you might give him hope. And so Tori's reaching out to this kid. And uh, to me, man, that's that's super powerful but we you know world adoption day is coming back around i've got even bigger plans for it for this year nobody still has even really heard it that much it's got six thousand spins i think on youtube the video um but but yeah it's it's powerful super powerful i think something will happen with that wow that's amazing that's super powerful